Hello and welcome once again to Red Daddy on YouTube, your channel for the latest Red Dead Online news and updates. So, what are we going to talk about today? We will be talking about three subjects in this episode. Firstly, we're going to talk about Rockstar's response to the current feedback they have received from the players. Secondly, we're going to talk about some speculations about the in-game economy brought to us by some fellow members over at Reddit. Thirdly, we're going to end this episode by talking about the current situation the game media are talking about when it comes to Red Dead Online. So, let's get to it. First off, Rockstar posted a tweet mentioning that they've received quite some feedback from the players during the first week of Red Dead Online beta. Okay? So, what was this response? They wrote about the cute, quick few tips and tricks to help you succeed and thrive on the frontier out there playing Red Dead Online. Nothing about the economy. So, instead of giving us a real response on the major issues, they came with some tips and tricks and, well, it's mostly basic stuff. The only new information I learned from this is that at level 10 you will receive a new treasure map. Okay, and after that, five level levels later, you're gonna receive another one. Five levels after that, you're gonna receive another one. What do you find in these treasures? Some dollars? A little bit of gold. Is it worth doing? Definitely, if you're gonna be able to buy anything in game, because the economy is really messed up like we all already know. So yeah, if we're gonna analyze this tweet, they totally ignore the major issues people have been talking about when it comes to this game. The feedback most of the players have sent Rockstar according to Reddit and Twitter and YouTube are the following that the in-game content lacking in online mode is really bad. They all want them to add in like poker, legendary animals and stuff like that to do. At the same time, most people are talking about the economy and how everything Thing is ridiculously priced too damn high too damn high someone even went that far on Twitter to call them the next EA if you getting called EA by your fans then you know you're greedy and you need to make a change I'll link you guys down below to Rockstar's response now over to the second subject of this episode so yes over to the second subject Silent Flavor posted a thread on Reddit about why he thinks the economy is the way it is. He puts the focus on the fact that he, this might have been Rockstar's plan all along. He writes, the high costs, low earnings and push towards microtransactions was put out this way on purpose as basically a way to gauge the reaction to it and see what they could get away with. So, let's say that Silent Flavor's theory is true. If Rockstar made it this ridiculous on purpose, then they are going to change their economy. But how big the change will be depends on you guys. If you put pressure on Rockstar, the change will be bigger. If you don't, then the prices will probably stay ridiculously high. Maybe a little bit lower than it is today, but still not low enough for this game to be fun for everyone. Even those people who don't use their credit cards to buy a bunch of stuff. Now to give you a well modern example on why this theory might be true, let's say you go on vacation to Turkey or Greece, okay? And you end up wanting to buy a souvenir. You go to the store, you ask how much does this cost? The owner says $100 and you say, I'm not paying $100 for that, I'll give you $10. Then the owner will say, okay, how about 80? And then you say 20. And you keep on hassling like this until you reach a price you both agree on, right? If this theory is correct, then this is exactly what Rockstar is doing. I really would like to know what you guys think about this. Leave a comment down below on Silent Flavor's theory and if you agree with it or not. So let's talk about the third subject of today's episode, the media. What are they talking about? Well, Polygon, Forbes and Eurogamer all wrote three new articles about the issues with Red Dead Online. They mostly focus on the economy, as we all do. But at the same time, they also talk about the in-game content and how it's lacking compared to the solo story. We all love the solo game. We all went on an amazing adventure. And we want to do this online together. This is the point Forbes is trying to push in their article. And I agree with them. Why shouldn't we keep on going on this amazing adventure even in the online mode? But currently, as the game is, we will not be able to do so because Rockstar are playing a game and they're being really greedy about it. We could talk much more about this, but I like to keep my videos short, filled with information. So yes, that's all for this episode. If you did enjoy, make sure to like us, 
leave a comment down below and subscribe to this channel. Also, I will provide you with links to every source that I will talk about down below in the description. Take care, partners, and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.